This is a detailed tutorial on how to recreate this clip from Sunny V2 in After Effects. These eight YouTubers did irreversible damage to their channel with one single video. And we're going to begin by talking about Jace. Here's the version that I have made and will be teaching you. These eight YouTubers did irreversible damage to their channel with one single video. And we're going to begin by talking about You're going to need Photoshop and After Effects to recreate this clip. Now let's get started. So the first step is gathering your 8 images. Now if you want to follow this exactly, you can go to the video and take a screenshot and select and mask each image out. You want to make sure that the background is transparent and you also want to collect your YouTube icon and Earth icon which you can just find on the internet. Once you've gathered all the elements that you want to edit this with, we can open After Effects and begin. Create a new composition and copy these settings. Import the Photoshop files and select editable layer style. Do the same for the YouTube and Earth icon. We're going to begin with these, so select both and scale them appropriately. We're going to need a background, so right click and go to new, then select solid. You can use any colour you want for this, I'm using a dark red if you want to copy this exactly. You then move it to the bottom and lock the layer. We're then going to add this effect to the YouTube icon and move the centre point to where you like it. Then add these three effects to the Earth icon and you can play around with the settings. We are also going to create this wiggle effect using the turbulent displace. You want to set the amount and size to 15. The more you increase these values, the more movement there will be. Open evolution options and alt and left click on random seed. Type in time asterisk 3. The more you increase this value, the faster the movement will be. You also want to add a drop shadow to the earth icon. In order to recreate the particles, we will duplicate the YouTube logo by pressing Ctrl D. Then move it to the bottom and rename it. Remove the two effects and add these ones. If you're not too familiar with these, you can copy my settings. Add a keyframe for the evolution on the turbulent displace effect at the beginning and near the end. And key the last one at three times. The higher this value, the faster the movement. Duplicate the particle layer and add a tint. Also mess around with the values so that the particles aren't in the exact same position. Then drag your eight images into the composition below the layers we've just edited. Then press the eye to identify each image and rearrange them and rename them. One, two, three, four, etc. Then select everything and press 3D layer. Right click, press new, camera, copy these settings and press OK. Repeat and create a null object instead. You then parent link the camera to the null object. Select the null object, press P and move the camera upwards. Press the eye on the bottom images and lock them. Select 4, hold shift and select 1. Press P on the keyboard and move these images up. Then slightly rotate each image and position them to how you like it. Select 1, press A on the keyboard and go to 45 frames. Press the stopwatch then go to the beginning and slightly move the image upwards. Select both keyframes and press the graph. Create a steep curve like so. Press T on the keyboard and create a keyframe for opacity at 0. Go to 30 frames in and create a keyframe for opacity at 100%. Select both keyframes and press F9. Press U on the keyboard, select all keyframes and press Ctrl C. Go to the beginning, select each layer and press Ctrl V. Select the pen tool and make sure that fill is on none. If it's not, press the word next to it, select none and press OK. Also, make sure it's set to 10 pixels. Make sure that you have no layers selected and create two points on the composition. Create one more point in the middle of the line and pull the handles to create a curve. The longer the line, the more of a curve there will be. Select the shape layer and move it below one. On the shape layer, go to contents, stroke one, and change the line cap to round. Then press add and select trim paths. Open trim paths and create a keyframe at the beginning for the end at 0%. Go to 45 frames and create another keyframe for 100%. Select both keyframes and press F9. It will look like this. Change the colour of the line to match the picture. Then add a drop shadow and a glow to the line. Repeat the same steps for each picture. Add the transform effect and press Alt left click on position. Type wiggle 1 comma 6. This will make the line slightly move. Then copy the effects onto each one. Select each shape layer and its image and offset them by 30 frames. Do this for all of them so that there is a 30 frame gap between each one. Unlock the bottom layers and press the I on each one. Then go to the null object and move the camera down. Repeat the same steps for the pictures as we did for the top ones. When creating the shapes for the bottom, you can duplicate the ones you used from the top, move them downwards and rotate them by right clicking, going to transform and pressing flip vertical. Once you've done that, you can offset each image just as we did at the top but instead of doing a 30 frame gap, we're going to do a 15 frame gap instead. 
For the keyframe on the last shape layer, you want to increase it by another 15 frames if you want to get the same look as the video. Then select all of the bottom layers and move them to 2 seconds. Select the null object, press S on the keyboard and decrease the scale. Go to a point where the images are visible and reposition the camera so the left image is in the middle. Go to the beginning and create a keyframe. Then go to 2 seconds and create another keyframe all the way to the right. Select both keyframes and press F9. Then press the graph. Pull the handle slightly closer to the middle. Go to 2 seconds 45 frames and reposition the camera so that the bottom left image is in the middle. Then go to 5 seconds and reposition the camera to the right. Adjust the last image so it's slightly delayed. You then open the camera, select transform and create a keyframe for position at the beginning. Changing the value for position will change the angle of the camera. You then want to mess around with the values until you find something that you're happy with. Here's the values that I have used. And this should be what you end up with. If this video helped you, like, subscribe and let me know what clip I should break down next.